Hello everyone, welcome to Study Atomist. In this tutorial, we will see once we click on add button, then one model window will come and where we can enter book detail and then one we, once we click save button, that will be visual here. Data will be saved in MongoDB and then that uh, line new line will be added here. So for that, what we have to do, we can go in our application and in this application we have to add bootstrap js file so we can write get bootstrap.com and from here we will click on get started after that we can click on 4.6 version and then go down we can copy the separated version just copy it go to the page and here we will see we have index.html after all things just paste before closing body closing tag of body although you can paste it in head also but i prefer to paste it here now after doing this thing that means we have added the js file js configuration for our application then we can search here or, or we can simply go into mod component and from this component we can see this is model once we will click on model we can navigate and in this one we can see examples so let's take this live example once i click here it will open this model window so i copy the code that is written here just copy it and paste it in our page so let's go down and here after closing of the table we can paste all the codes that we have copied select all the things and do some formatting now here we can see this is unnecessary comment line is there just remove this comment line after that also replace class with class name so i can select it Control, press Control H and then you have to replace with class name just click replace all it will replace along with that it will also replace the class name so we have to remove the name from the class then you can see down that we have added these things and we can save now let's go and check so now you can see we have model window added once we click on pop-up is coming up now we have to remove this and we'll add on add button so for that we can copy this code we can simply cut this code from here and then <coughs> we'll replace with this button that we have added earlier let's change the name add book and instead of primary we can say this is info and let it be everything just save it go here now we have this one if i click on add books we have one pop-up will come so this is how we can add any any bootstrap features in our react.js application so now after that what we can do next is we can say here we have body and body is blank in this body we can add one input box so we can say input type equal to text then id equal to we can say uh, title then name equal to also title and then value equal to in this value we have to write this dot state dot and then we have to bind this particular field with one of the text field so let's say one of the field which is available in state so if i'll go on top in state we all we have only add we have only all books now add one more here we can say a single book in this single book i'll include title and uh, title equal to blank for now and then i'll say 
we will have and instead of title I can say this is a name so we have to pass the name also so this is name book name and then we can say ID so these two things we have mentioned here ID and name so ID can be a type of integer so let's define by default it is let's say 0 so these two things I have declared here and af after that what we can do we can map single book to this field so I can say this dot state dot single book dot name so now name is added here and uh, along with that we can say on change right on handle change what we wanted to write before that let me just give here a label and then we can say html for html for title and then here we can say enter book name right enter book name then we have this one click save go and see what is happening now we will click here now you can say enter book name and uh, then we have save change and closed so now once we will update anything it should actually change the value right so here we have input text title and then in the value whatever value you will enter here let's say if I will hard code some value here let's say I can say Java save it if you will go here and click add you can see by default Java is coming here now next thing is once we will add anything then it should save the state also and for that what we have to do we can add here on change field so in this one we have to add on change equal to and then we'll have to write this dot handle change now this handle change we have to configure so we'll have to go we have to basically bind this handle change with the current component so i'll write here this dot handle change equal to this dot handle change dot bind you can pass this after adding this thing we have to give the definition also so we have add books now after add books we can write handle change and then we have to write code inside this handle change so we can say here uh, we can directly set this dot set a state and here we can say that uh, uh, single book this dot set a state single book and in this single book we can set the data right so we can set name equal to e dot target dot value e dot target dot value <coughs> this particular thing we have set here and uh, then we can say that e dot target dot value so in this one we have to only set the name and id will automatically since we are handling id in backend so we don't need to provide that particular thing here we can simply set e dot target dot value and this value will be set in this single book whenever we will modify anything here so whenever we will modify anything on this particular field that will be added in in uh, this particular field so here we have book and then by default we have blank this will set here so now these things is set through uh, through the html input field now after input field what we have to do we have to add button so in button basically we can say input type button save changes so here we have to do on click on click equal to then we have to write this dot 
uh, we can say add book so we can create function add book or something like handle add book now we have to same thing we have to do we have to register this i'll do this dot handle add book equal to this dot handle book dot bind and then we can pass it this operation here so up after doing that we have to also handle here the create uh, the add, add book right so we can say we have now all data is already available in this particular set state now here we have to write logic to pass or to to call post method of api so we will see in the next video how we can add post method in this react js application thank you